What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate has been revealed for the Nintendo Switch. And they've made lots of changes, so I figured why not go over my top 5 favorite, in no particular order. Just remember that the game isn't out yet, and it's only been a couple weeks since its reveal. So there are likely tons more changes coming that are even better than these. Also, I'm going to be taking all changes into consideration, whether it be specific character changes, stage changes, mechanic changes, or changes that weren't even stated in the direct and discovered through gameplay. With all that said, let's get started on my top 5 favorite changes for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. My first favorite change is Ryu being fixed. A couple months ago, I made a video stating changes that I wanted to see in Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo Switch, and now that Ultimate is revealed, Ryu has a big change. In one-on-one -on -one matches, Ryu will always face his opponents, like he does in the Street Fighter games. And basically what this does is reduce accidental command inputs, which is one of the things I wanted. Another one of the things I wanted for Ryu is to be able to read his input speeds faster. Because I'm actually a huge fan and player of those traditional fighting games, they that use those exact same input commands on a regular basis. So those games are a lot more close up and personal and faster as a result of that, so my muscle memory ends up being a bit too fast for Smash to recognize. So like when I do Ryu's perfect Shoryuken, it sometimes doesn't come out because I just put it in too fast. And before you accuse me of doing it wrong, it does come out every single time when I purposefully do it slower. But seeing how much faster Ultimate is, I don't think this will be a problem anymore, so I'm happy for Ryu's changes. My second favorite change is having battlefield forms for every stage. Now Final Destination is known as the most fair stage in Super Smash Bros. history. Just a flat surface, two edges, and that's all it is. But man, is it boring. I remember the good old days, playing online on Super Smash Bros. Brawl. It was a miracle when he would actually get Final Destination. Even more of a miracle when it ended up being a one-on-one. -on -one. So when they happened, it was like the funnest thing on Earth. And when Super Smash Bros. 4 rolled around, 4 Glory became a thing. And it single-handedly proved that Final Destination is the worst thing ever. <laughs> that was just a joke, don't get mad. But how often has this happened to you? Oh, I'm fighting a cloud! Uh-oh, he's rolling to the side of the stage and charging his limit. Better go after him. Oh no, now he's rolling to the other side of the stage and charging limit. Oh hey, now I'm fighting a Robin. Oh no, he's running to the side of the stage and charging L Thunder. Better go after him. Oh no, now he's doing the same thing the other way. And it's like this for pretty much every character that has something that they can charge. So if 4 Glory and Ultimate happens to include the Battlefield form stages too, then that fixes this problem entirely with the extra platforms. Not to mention Battlefield is just a cool stage and it would add some variety to 4 Glory. Now with the last change I mentioned and the change that I'm about to name, I'm probably just gonna sound like a 4 Glory scrub that loses too much. But my third favorite change is Bye Bye Grab Combos. I'm sorry, but if a character isn't rolling repeatedly to the side and charging, then they're usually dashing and grabbing. Which isn't that bad because people are likely going to do this whether grab combos are a thing or not. But it's a lot more annoying when they're able to follow up by doing the same move over and over and over until you're at a high enough percent to DI out of it. I know, I know, I need to get good and learn to dodge it, but when they do it like 50 times a match, you're bound to get grabbed at least once. And that one grab could be a ridiculous punishment that cost you the match, depending on the character. Cloud's limit breaks side B, for example, which he can combo into from down throw. As you could probably tell, I lose to a lot of clouds. Let's get even more casual. My fourth favorite change are the Smash Ball mechanics. Not only have fake Smash Balls been added in, but regular Smash Balls behave very differently compared to their previous incarnations. I mean, not to complain again, but they were just really bad in Smash 4. They'd always hang up super high in the air so only characters with ridiculously high jumps could actually reach them, or they just float off screen for like, a solid 10 seconds sometimes. You couldn't exactly chase it around, you just had to hope it would gravitate towards you. But in Ultimate, they float around in a much more fun pattern, or they could just drop to the ground and be kicked around like a ball. And sometimes when they behave like a bouncy ball, they get stuck upside down and they'd be easier to mistake for a fake smash ball. The Mega Mushrooms and Poison Mushrooms are much too easy to tell apart for it to trick anyone, and the fake item boxes in Mario Kart games never work. So it's nice to see a fake item have the actual potential of tricking people. Granted, there is a very noticeable difference, but in the chaos and with the new mechanics of the Smash Ball rolling around, it'd be pretty hard to tell. Not to mention, fake Smash Balls will sometimes even chase you, so when you throw out an attack, you could break it by accident. And my fifth favorite change are the UI changes. I love the style of Smash Ultimate so far. The way the character portraits look, the way the stock icons look, the way that there's decimals in the percentage now. 
I just think it's really cool. I love the blue colors of the character select screen, the way the characters are arranged in order of their appearance in Super Smash Bros. I just love it a ton. And there have been tons of new things added, not just changes. For example, the loading screen is way different now. Instead of the tips popping up, now it's more like a traditional fighting game, with the fighters being lined up like a poster for a title match. They've also added tons of different visual effects, like the slow-mo thing, or the different backgrounds when you use a Final Smash. There's only one little complaint I have about the UI. When a character flies off screen, this little box appears to showcase where they are relative to the blast zone. I feel like what we already have with the arrow pointing to where they are off screen is a lot more useful and less distracting than that box showing up and flashing away. And I really hope there's a toggle option for them because if those things show up during replays, it's going to be almost impossible to make a Smash Brothers machinima based off of Ultimate, which would be super unfortunate considering the roster and stage amount. But I'm not too worried, I mean that does only show up when characters are off screen. Now with that said, those are my top 5 favorite changes in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate so far. There could be more shown off down the road that take these spots, but these are my 5 favorite for now. And make sure to subscribe because I'm going to make more Smash content in the future, like predicting some new game modes or stages and all that good stuff. So yeah, it's going to be tons of fun. Leopold the Brave, out.